Good day everyone. Learn how to import browser data from Edge to Chrome. So here we will open the browser, Edge browser first. And at the top right corner where we see the three dots, we will click on that. And then we will go to favorites. Now the moment we click on favorites, you will find this favorite bar, favorites and like that. And again, you will find three dots just next to the three dots here where you see the pin unpin. So the moment I click on this three dots again, you will find export favorites and I will click on that. And here it will ask you to send save the location where exactly you want to save. So I'll select the desktop and I'll just keep the name as it is as it's mentioned the date so today i'll click on save right here so we have successfully exported the favorites the browser data to the desktop and you can see this here the html file has been saved the same name is there now we need to open the chrome the chrome browser and at the top right corner where we see the three dots we need to click on that and then you will find bookmarks and list here. So I'll click on again on the three dots, bookmarks and list. And here you just need to hover the cursor and you need to click on import bookmarks and settings. All right. Now the moment you do that, you will find an another window which says import bookmarks and settings. And here we need to click on the drop down menu. And then we need to select bookmarks HTML file. All right. So I will click on that. And here we need to click on choose file. And then we need to go to desktop. And here we have saved that favorite. You can see with the date. We will select that. And we just need to click on open. And you can see your bookmarks and settings are ready. And we just have to click. So this is how you can download and I mean export and import your browser data from Microsoft Edge browser to Google Chrome. So guys, if you find this tutorial helpful and it has given you a value, please hit the like and subscribe and do leave a comment if you have successfully done that. I'll see you in the next tutorial.